Good morning. So, we're just a few minutes into the first day of school, and already I have a problem. New bunch of kids, quiet work, settling in, and a steady tapping, like a drip from a leaky ceiling, and there he is. Hunched over his work, sneaker toes tapping on the tile floor. I throw out an email, five minutes later, there's a piece of carpet under his feet, and he can tap away to his heart's content, and I don't have a drum in my head. She arrived late in the school year. She was a new black kid in an almost entirely white school. In the midst of yet another move and yet another school, she got as close as she could to me and told me how scared she was. She couldn't bring herself to talk to any of the kids I had seated her near, and she couldn't even walk over to her desk. And then one of the sweetest kids in my room walked up with a couple of other kids, started chattering around her, and she joined in. I had another student who, student who was quiet and sort of always curled up and alone. We knew something was wrong and tried to help. We wrote together. I gave her breaks, sent her to talk to trusted teachers, but she kept missing school, and the team met constantly, but things got worse. She was hospitalized after a suicide attempt. When he returned to school a few months later, the real work began. How do you help a trans student feel safe, included, and loved? Who does he need? And he needed us, and we delivered. But I'll bet you're wondering why I'm not talking about social studies. But I am. Today I want to help you understand that when you teach and model equity, honesty, courage, responsibility, you are practicing civics. If you're studying how to give every child and every adult in your school or your business what they need to do their best work, then you are thinking about the rights and responsibilities that go into being an effective, compassionate citizen. What better time to teach these traits than in the primary school, the elementary grades? High school may be too late to instill the qualities of a good citizen in our students. So what is civics? If you think that civics is the teaching of government, you are kind of right, but it's more than that. Civics in school teaches the structure and function of government and reinforces the desirable traits of a good citizen, which are often listed as courage, honesty, responsibility, compassion, and respect. The norms and expectations you set up in your classroom, and as I do in mine, reinforce those qualities. You model them. And the nuts and bolts of our functioning government, the principles of our government, brings them forward even more. Civics must be taught when children are young at school, where we come up with classroom rules, we embody respect, and we demonstrate responsibility. So what does it look like when we teach civics? In the three scenarios I opened with, my students were being, and I, were being courageous, honest, compassionate, respectful, and responsible. So modeling makes these qualities visible, but they really need to be as clear as possible. We need to model and teach what these responsibilities are, and we need to teach the form and functions of function of government together. We need to reinforce the expectations as children are learning and leave lots of opportunity for them to discuss, question, and figure it out for themselves. This is very personal to me. My awakening to the importance of civics came many years after I had my father as my civics teacher in high school. I took what I learned for granted growing up in the 60s and 70s. There was a lot of turmoil, but my upbringing and my education made me confident that our country would hold because of our Constitution and the men and women who practice the attributes of citizenship. And then came 2016. As a teacher of sixth graders, with feet in two camps, childhood and adolescence, these last few years have been very challenging. I reminded myself to study the importance of teaching how to be an effective citizen, not just by modeling, by, by, but by explicit teaching. We are in sore need of coming together as citizens of a country we love. How can civics teach us to talk to each other, listen to each other? and engage in that conversation. I started 
with thinking about the equity I embody in my classroom, the structures and expectations I carefully teach from the minute my students walk into our room. I focus on building a warm, listening, noticing environment where my expectations are clear and meaningful. I assume good intentions. The kids aren't trying to drive me crazy. They're just 11 year olds. I teach writing in addition to social studies, so there are lots of opportunities for me to show courage and honesty when I share my writing with my students, excuse me, students. And I offer them the respect and so that they can show me the courage and honesty of sharing their writing as well. We have lots of different opportunities in our classroom and our school to show compassion, respect, and responsibility. And they know what those look like because we've taught them to each other, we talk about them, and we model them to each other. The qualities of civics are the building blocks for sustaining a community, a civilization, and a country beyond our classroom. But we can do more by clearly and directly teaching the principles of civics. So what? So this. I challenge you to teach and support the teaching of civics. If you are a teacher, what do you need to include civics in your classroom? If you are an administrator, ask how you can support the explicit teaching of civics in all grade levels and across content. There are passionate social studies teacher eagles to help. Maybe you want a business in town. You own a business in town. Offer to talk to classes at your local schools. How do qualities of citizenship manifest themselves in your business? And how do those principles figure in the decisions you make about your business? Legislators, council members, town managers. How can you make civics visible to your community? May classes visit your offices? See what your work looks like and ask questions? Can you visit your schools? Maybe work with a teacher on a civics subject um, with students, what will I be doing? I'll be working even harder to meet with and be available to grade level teams at every opportunity. I will meet with businesses and ask them to come to my classroom. And legislators, you need to be in my classroom, and the sooner the better. Civics matters for every kid in class, and not just the kids who stick in our memory and whose stories I shared. I challenge you to look at the people you live among and work with, and I challenge you to go above and beyond to make your school, your office, your business, and your community a place to work and a place to stay. Thank you.